Hey guys, so today I'm doing my Q&A video. I asked you guys to send in some questions to my Sahara app. I still don't know how to say that, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be answering your questions best as I can and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first question is, what inspired you to make a YouTube channel? Are you, do are you all done with schooling? So I wanted to make a YouTube channel for the longest time. But of course, it's always been a very scary thing and I'm not confident at all. I'm the most shy person you will ever meet. Like if you saw me on the street, like you would understand what I mean. Like I am just so shy. Um, so of course, like I was super scared and yeah, um, but I've just wanted to make it for so long and it got to the point where I was even like making videos, but not posting them because it was just something that made me happy something that like I've always wanted to do um, even before I was into makeup and stuff um, because I used to follow like Troy Savan, Troy Savan, Soella, um, all those kind of people so I wanted to make one for just so long and I finally just got to the point where I was like this makes me happy and I'm gonna do it um, my boyfriend was a massive help and influence on me. I don't think I would have started one if it wasn't for him. He's just always believed in me and supported me so much and made me believe that I can do anything I want. So a big thank you to him because he's probably the main reason and the thing that pushed me to make a channel. So yeah, big thank you to him. No, I'm not done with schooling. I start TAFE in two weeks, I think and I'm doing a beauty therapy course so I'm super excited for that. The next question is what's your favorite drugstore makeup brand? So I absolutely love e.l.f. I think they have amazing highlighters, I like their brow products, I like their foundation, I really love Maybelline even though they're not cruelty free I absolutely hate that they're not cruelty free but I do their Lash Sensational is amazing and I also love their I think it's called the Big Falsies mascara um, I'm sure if I'll repurchase them just because of the whole, you know, testing on animals and all that kind of stuff. But they are good products. I can't lie about that. And then I also love, oh, BYS. I really like their eyeshadows and, oh, their, their highlighting palette. I really like that one. So those three are probably the main ones I love. What's your fi favorite high-end makeup brand? That's pretty hard to be honest. Like because in all honesty my favorite makeup brand would have to be Jeffree Star and Kyla Cosmetics but they're not really considered like high-end so probably Too Faced maybe that's really like the only high-end brand I've tried I guess I really want to try some Huda Beauty and some Anastasia I don't know how I'd probably pronounce that wrong please don't hate me anyway but um when I get the money I will Buy some of those so yeah are Kylie Cosmetics or Jeffree Star that's probably the hardest question in this whole video um I'm gonna have to go with Jeffree just because I absolutely I love his lipsticks his lip ammos I love his highlighters I love his eyeshadow palette but then Kylie also makes amazing products too so it's probably just it's such a hard question but I guess Jeffree because I also love him as a person I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but I can't lie. Um, I just, I like him, so probably Jeffrey, yeah. How'd you gather the courage to start a YouTube channel? I really want to start a channel, but I'm so nervous. Yeah, um, I was super nervous as well. I still am, like, putting up a video is still, like, scary, like, not knowing if people are going to like it and stuff. But at the end of the day, if it makes you happy and it's something you want to do, just do it because... There's no one else you need to worry about like as long as you're happy and you're having fun with it and all that kind of stuff like you'll be surprised at how many people support you so my um advice is just start your channel please just do it um if you would like any like help or advice or anything like if you have any questions about starting a channel or anything like that just send me a dm to my sojo beauty underscore insta page and i'll be happy to help you and talk you through it all so the next question is two jobs how can you keep up with that i can't even keep up with school <laughs> um so i work at the cinemas i also work at a dental center and honestly i'm probably coping with it more like probably coping with it better at the moment because um i don't have school at the moment but it's basically just planning it um 
you know, getting into a routine and stuff. I work mostly days at the dental centre and then I work nights at the cinema, so it's all good. Like, um, it is ma it's doable. Um, it's all just about planning and organising stuff. Um, when school gets thrown into the mix, makes it a bit harder because I can't work nights at the dentist, but, you know, I can work weekends, so it's all good. What shampoo do you use? I need a new one. A since my shampoo makes my hair makes my hair fall off a lot. That's bad. You should probably not be using that shampoo. Um, honestly, mine changes a lot. I've been meaning to go back into the salon to get um, like my salon shampoo, but I just haven't had a chance to go in there. Um, so I've been using the Tony and Co. I don't know what it's called. But I just got it from the supermarket, it seems to be working alright, so... And I think it's like the Silky Smooth or like... Something to do with smoothening because my hair is so curly and so frizzy, so... Yeah. Dream place. I'm not really sure... Like, do you mean like... This is a very broad question. <laughs> do you mean like, um... Dream place? I don't really know what you mean. Um, no, I, I'm sorry, that sounded rude. I just, like, do you mean... To live or like to visit or like anyway um, my place to visit would probably be Greece or America I've always had a like a thing with Egypt as well I feel like visiting Egypt would be really awesome so those are probably the three main places I would like to go I'm sorry if that's not if I didn't answer your question if I didn't just like DM me and I'll be happy to clear that up for you you live with your parents or your boyfriend I live with my parents at the moment uh, my boyfriend's here mostly every night though because he works with my family so he stays a lot at my house. Um, we are planning on getting a place together when we both have the money though. Um, any TV show recommendations? Also watch How to Get Away with Murder It's So Good. Okay I will definitely check that out. Um, my TV show recommendations are Shameless, the US one, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, What's that other show I was like super obsessed with? Friends, Shameless, How I Met Your Mother. Gossip Girl, I'm watching another one, I love Gossip Girl. I think that's all. I swear there was another one that I was like super obsessed with, but I can't remember now. But yeah, my top recommendation would be Friends because it's the best show I've ever made. Oh, also. That 70s show is a really good one too. What do you enjoy most about doing makeup? Do you do makeup for people on special events? Um, the thing I enjoy most about makeup, that's actually really hard. Um, I think just like creating something, if that makes sense. Like I like seeing what I can create and how it looks and just kind of knowing that I can feel good about myself, if that makes sense. Um, just everything really. It's just such a hobby of mine I just love it so much and yeah I just I mostly just like enjoy looking at my makeup and be like that's pretty <laughs> um do you do makeup for people on special events um no I don't I would be happy to I just feel like I'm not um skilled enough to do that yet so I'm way too scared to I am doing my beauty therapy course though so at the end of the year I will start doing it like that's my job if people obviously want me to. Have you ever experienced any mental health problems, anxiety, depression, etc? The answer is yes, I have experienced some of those problems. Unfortunately, I do not feel comfortable talking about that on my channel yet, just because I don't have the words like to say what I need to say about that, if that makes sense. Like it's such a just huge topic and I'm just kind of, I don't really know how to talk about all of that yet. The one thing I do want to say is if anyone needs help or needs someone to talk to, needs advice, anything like that, please just don't hesitate to message me because I would be more than happy to talk you through everything and to help you as much as I possibly can. I don't want anyone to feel alone or anything like that so if you guys ever need some help or ever need a friend to talk to, please just don't hesitate to message me. Like I'm super friendly, I promise that I'll help you in every way that I can. I would never judge you or anything like that and no one would ever find out about it. So yeah, if you need help, just message me. Did you only, did you play with makeup as a young kid or have you only just started? So no, I actually didn't um, 
four months ago I didn't even own one makeup product and now I have all of this stuff. All of this has been bought like this, I mean like since for, like in the last four months. I don't know why that took so long to get out. So yeah, um, I've, I've always thought it was pretty and stuff but the reason that I actually never got into makeup was because I felt like if I started doing makeup I would not be happy with myself without makeup. I know that sounds really silly but it was just something that I was super worried about. I just wanted to make sure that I would always be happy with the way that I looked and always feel like, um, like never feel like I can't go out in public with makeup and stuff like that. But it's not like that at all. Like that's what I was worried about but it's not like that at all. I still never wear makeup in public. The only, re like, the only time I actually wear makeup is for my page and for my YouTube videos. Or like if I have like a special event or something. But yeah, so I, that's why I never got into it. I always wanted to, but I was just kind of like too scared, I guess. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And yeah, so about four months I've been doing it. I don't do it every day. That's kind of more something I do as a hobby. So like maybe I do my makeup about twice a week, which is why I'm still not that good and stuff. But anyway. This is for your Q&A, when is 106 dropping the mixtape? So for those of you who don't know, 106 is my boyfriend. He is a rapper and he is in the process of making a mixtape which should be dropped within the next couple of months if that answers your question. I will leave the link to his SoundCloud and Spotify, iTunes, Instagram, all that kind of stuff in the down bar. So if you guys wanted to check him out, that would be awesome. Favourite makeup YouTube artist? So I think like for the makeup category I think Nikki Tutorials is absolutely amazing she does the most amazing looks and I have no idea how she does it she's awesome also leave your recommendations to like good youtubers in the down bar because I would love to expand my watch watching I don't know like I, I want more people to watch <laughs> um, have you gotten hate by anyone in your life about your YouTube channel or were you afraid to start it at all because you were scared of what people might say or that they will mention your videos to you in person. Um, so yeah, I've gotten a bit of like hate and stuff and I was super scared about that. That's the reason I never started my channel in high school or anything like that. Um, yeah, when like I always get awkward when people mention my videos because I'm super shy in person and obviously talking to a camera is a lot different than talking to people but when people mention my videos to me like it really warms my heart because I do try my best and I know that I'm not that good and I know that there's a lot that needs improving but it's something that like as sappy as it sounds it's like special to me and it makes me very happy and I love creating these videos I love um when I see that people are watching them and liking them and stuff so when people mention my videos to me it just honestly warms my heart so much and I just get like so excited and so like <laughs> I don't know it's just it really does make me very happy so I was super scared about the hate and stuff but when it actually when I first got it it made me a bit upset but then I was like you know what like I'm doing what I love um, I'm happy and they're wasting their time watching my videos that they supposedly don't like just to say something mean about them and at the end of the day it's another view for me and who cares like I'm not gonna let a few people um, ruin my happiness and ruin something that I love doing so it just comes down to the fact that I'm happy now and no one no matter what they say can really take that away from me so the last thing that I got sent in was not a question it was your makeup looks bad, I don't want to be mean, but your brows look bad, your eyeshadow is not blended enough and please don't overline your lips because it, it's obvious or at least try to make it more natural looking. Also blend, your founda also blend your foundation to your neck, I see potential in you though. So I just wanted to talk about this one quickly, just on the topic of hate I guess. Like, um, I know that I'm not the best, that is very obvious. Like, you look at all the people out there, even, like, not makeup artists, even just, like, girls that are good at makeup and stuff like that. I'm on the, like, the low end of the spectrum. Like, I know that I'm not good, but I am learning. I, as I said, literally started, like, four months ago. I bought all of this stuff 
within that time. I've spent so much time and money and, you know, like, trying to learn all of this stuff, trying to get better. So, I just wanted to say, like, I've never said that I'm the best. I've never said that my stuff looks good or anything like that. This is just me learning and the process of that. I wasn't going to not make a channel because I wasn't the best because doing makeup and my YouTube channel are the things that make me happy. They're the things that I enjoy doing. They're my hobby. They're what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I just wanted to say I just don't understand really. I understand um, if you wanted to like be like, oh, hey, here's a few tips like to help you get better. I would so appreciate that because that's what I'm looking for. Like I'm looking for ways to get better. But for when someone like comes in and be's like, don't want to be mean, but I'm just going to shit all over everything you're doing. It's just kind of like, mm, okay. Um, of course, I'm not going to be like, oh, thank you for telling me that everything I've been trying to do is shit. Um, sorry. <laughs> It kind of can be a bit discouraging, especially when I try my hardest. Um, I work a lot of the time. I don't get much time to do these videos or to edit. So when I, in my only free time I have is when I'm doing this stuff. Is when I'm sitting down, spending all the time doing my makeup, making my videos, editing and all that kind of stuff. So for someone to be like, just kind of shit all over it, I'm just like, okay. I understand I'm not that good and I get that. Like I've never said I'm the best. So, like, don't think that I think I am because it's pretty evident to me that I'm not that great. <laughs> so I just wanted to basically say, like, just think about the way that you're saying things to people. Like, if she had of, or, or if it was a guy, a girl, whatever, if they had of messaged me and be like, oh, hey, like, here's just a few tips, like, this is what I think could be improved on, here's how to do it. I'd be like, you know what, thank you so much, like, I really appreciate that. But... For them to like get behind an anonymous app and to like even though they said they weren't trying to be rude it came across rude so I'm just like you know what like that's all good but just think about the way you're saying things to people like for me it doesn't it didn't hurt or anything like that but I just kind of thought you know a bit unnecessary like I'm just trying to do what makes me happy and I'm trying to learn I always say how I'm learning and how I only started a few months ago and stuff like that so yeah just think about the way that you're saying things to people pretty much that's what I'm trying to say so yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do videos like this in the future and I can definitely do a more do more do more Q&A's so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to all the people that support me and that say nice things to me and that make me feel good about myself and encourage me to keep going because you guys are as sappy as it sounds you guys are the reason that I keep doing this if I didn't get positive feedback from you guys I would have stopped altogether so thank you guys so 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 much from the bottom of my heart it means so much to me and I can't wait to see where this channel goes and where my beauty page goes and how I improve and all that kind of stuff and thank you guys so much. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!